Hello everyone, we are back at it, another Hardware Canucks video. Today we'll be guiding you through the installation process of the Ascension mod for the touchpad. Now Ascension mod is an enhanced version of Google Android. And we'd like to give credit to Ascension mod team for developing the software along with Roots Wiki forums where all this information can be found. Now a quick disclaimer before we begin is that this software and this installation is use it at your own risk as there are potential problems with the software and installation and it may cause damage to your device. Now HP has expressed its support for this engine mod development, however they do say that it may void your warranty. Now the link in the description is of the actual forum on RootsWiki. Once you are there, we recommend reading the disclaimer and potentially a number of times as it goes into detailed information of what we'll be doing. It outlines some potential risks you may encounter and provides some troubleshooting advice in case something goes wrong. Now once you have read the disclaimer, the very bottom of the article has all of the download links and let's do a quick rundown of what they are. First the installer and readme file. Then we have the uninstaller which has been added with the alpha 2 version allows the removal of the android from your touchpad. Then we have the actual android operating system labeled CM7 and today we are installing the alpha 2 version. Then there is the clockwork recovery tool which allows for updates to be installed on the touchpad without needing to remove the android which is very convenient. And lastly is the mobile file that triggers the installation on the touchpad. So once you download these files I recommend putting them in the same folder so you know exactly where they are located. The Acme installer, which, we, which was the README and installer file, it's a zip file and it only contains two files which I have already extracted. A quick tip if you open the README file, this is just a text file. So if you want to copy the entire thing and paste it into a Word document, it will automatically um, adjust for the sizing of the spaces and it's just a much easier format to read. And I do recommend also reading this prior of watching this video so you know exactly what we're going to be doing and what um, are the steps we'll be going through. And one thing you want to leave all these files, uh, all the files in its zip format because they'll be placed onto the touchpad. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. Another thing you will need would be Novacom. Novacom is a software developed by HP Touchpad that allows the communication between your computer and the HP device. And that's very important here because we are making our device bootable from a USB and Novacom will allow that uh, portal between the device and the computer and to initialize that installation. Now Synergen provides links for all three systems and since we're using Windows we'll uh, just go on to this link which I have opened here already. You can install the entire WebOS uh, software developer kit but um, you can also deselect some options within it. But all we need is the Novacom driver, which is installed with the software developer kit. Um, so you can download this entire software developer kit or just Google Novacom driver download and find it at your own time. But once that's installed, you should have a folder. Uh, I have just the driver downloaded and installed. And the driver is installed in program files on your local disk and uh, under Palm Inc folder. And this is what should, was what should look like. So you can see the Novacom driver over there, which is the executable file. All right, so the next step, once uh, you have all the files ready, all you have to do is connect your HP touchpad through the USB provided to your computer. Once that's connected, it should recognize from the HP touchpad that it has connected to the computer click to use as a USB device. So once you click to use as a USB device, it should be recognized by your computer. Open the HP touchpad volume and create a new folder called CM install. Now in this folder, we will place all the following files. We need the mo boot file, just copy it over. We need the, uh, if you if you do want to do, to install the clock work uh, recovery tool, also place that in there. And we need the actual Android system. So we will be using the Alpha 2 version. We'll copy that over onto the HP touchpad. Next, what we want to do is we want to unmount the HP touchpad from the computer using uh, your 
uh, mouse, not the actual USB. You want the USB to remain inside the computer. You want the USB to be connected to the computer and the touchpad. So we're going to eject the HP touchpad from the computer. Okay, so the HP touchpad has been removed. As you can see, we're back to the home screen. Next thing we want to do is we want to make uh, the touchpad bootable through USB. So one thing you can do that, you have to go into your settings, go into device info, reset options, and you have to click restart. Once you click restart, you have to hold the up power volume up button. Once we see a little picture, like right now, and that will make the USB uh, bootable, make the HPad, HP touchpad bootable from USB. As you can see now, once you, we receive this logo here, we see Paul Manovacom booty, which means that the Novacom recognizes that both devices, both the touchpad device and the computer are communicating between each other. So the next thing for us to do would be to copy the Acme installer file into the Palm Inc. folder. All right, so now we have the Acme installer file uh, be in place in the Palm Inc. folder that will initialize the installation. Now we just have to input a code that will trigger that installation. So we have to first navigate through the command prompt window on Windows. If you're using Linux or, or a Mac, it'd be similar operation on the Mac. It's a terminal. You'd be going uh, exactly the same directions, basically, into the folder. So now we have to, if you don't know how to navigate through folders and command prompt, uh, just a quick tutorial. Uh, press CD, your volume disk, which were, which were uh, on file, local disk C, colon, slash, use quotations to indicate the exact name of the folder you want to navigate to program files quotation close another another uh, slash uh, then we go on into palm inc make sure to type them exactly as they are written now we now press enter and as you can see we are inside the program files palm inc folder now we have to input the certain uh, following code that will initialize the installation so we type in novacom boot mem space acme installer now what this will do is will initialize the installation from the computer uh, it will trigger the boot of mobile boot file onto hp touchpad and that will trigger the installation so if everything has been placed correctly uh, let's cross our fingers and hope that Alpha 2 version is now installed. As you can see here, the installation has uh, started to extract the files, or what it seems to, to be doing. It seems to work properly. And let's just wait for the installation to finish and it should boot right into Android. So we're just gonna wait for the installation to complete and we're gonna take a look at the Android Alpha 2 version. So now we are preparing to shut down, meaning everything has been installed. And hopefully, if everything is installed successfully, we should boot into Android without any issues. And this is another extra allows for a little menu. So you can select with the volume buttons, either going down or up, if you want to boot back into WebOS, if you want to use Clockwork Recovery, or if you just want to simply boot into Android. The very first loading screen is gonna take a little bit longer than the rest of them. And that's just the nature of the first boot. And as you go on further, you will experience faster boot times. And as you can see, we've booted into the Android successfully. 
just let's try some uh, options out as you can see we have the menus everything seems to be working properly Now, a quick thing, if you want to boot back into WebOS, let's hold the power button down. We are booting to here. You go to reboot, and it gives us a nice option to reboot to WebOS. And that's very really great. You don't have the option like that in WebOS. So you click OK, and if everything works perfectly, we should book, boot right back into WebOS. And as you can see, the HP logo is uh, showing up. Now, if the HP logo starts to glow, that means the boot into the WebOS is successful and everything is working perfectly. And if you want to reboot back into Android, it should automatically, as a default, boot into it uh, if you power off the system and turn it back on, or you just go into back the reset options and restart and you are going to be prompt with a uh, the select window where you can select either the uh, webOS system or the Android. As you can see, the HP logo starts to glow, which means we are booting into webOS successfully. As you can see, we are booted back into the webOS system. Android has been installed successfully. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I hope it's been very simple. If you have any questions regarding the steps that I've taken, please leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next one.